energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising leos i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is going to be a month of transformation for you leos it's going to be wonderful it's going to be positive um the month has the energy vibration of the hair energy and the zodiac energy of hair and water your fire sign so um a lot of hurt energies are coming in for you Leo's you have the six of Pentacles and this is a wonderful energies because whenever the earth energies come to support you in a month when everything is over the place it's going to be a positive positive energies so as we look at these energies um, for you Leo's you have the energy of the six of a hurt the energy of the six of hurt is unexpected resources happy surprise generosity so unexpected resources happy surprise generosity what I have sent for it in love comes back to me many times over as the generosity awakens become apparent, and unexpected resources show up the universe is establishing a generosity reminder to you that the world is full of pleasant surprise inside the pretty package is tangent aid a gift from spirit just when I was beginning to doubt I am reminded of the treasures I am anticipating to receive that show up at my door what will be mine will always be mine this is a profound a wonderful wonderful energies that is coming in in this month we have four four weeks and weeks begin with water um, the two four weeks for you guys is with water and the two last week for you guys is with the fire energies so let's take a deeper look in your energy vibration for the first first week you have the three of water which is a wonderful wonderful um, celebration there is something that you Leo's are going to be celebrating in the first week the celebration comes with the energy of temperance so whatever you're celebrating have temperance have um, balance in whatever you're doing and know that all that you need will come to you in due time the wonderful energies about the first week is that some of you are going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be a wonderful energies whatever is happening a celebration and this celebration can be that a lot of people will be connecting with their soul families but yet still finding their soulmate and twin flame and this is wonderful as we move on we're looking at the second week and the second week has the energy of the king of cups whatever the situation is with this king of cups is wonderful because this king of cups is going to bring forth wonderful positive energies in your life and as we look he's going to bring forth the ten of pentacles for you so whoever this king of cups is he's going to make it possible that you receive unexpected money that you weren't aware of and this money is going to come in and it's going to help you to um, do other things in your life the other energy that is here is that it's going to bring you stability in your life so whatever is happening this king of water is going to bring forth and help you to receive unexpected money inheritance and that sort of a thing and this money this um, financial security that is going to come in your life is going to bring balance to your family life balance to your personal life in a financial way so financial security is the name of the week for you as we move forward we are looking at the third week which is a wonderful week we have the four of fires so this is going to be very positive for you Leo's because what is going to happen in this week is that if you were um, 
working on certain aspects certain things and you were looking for a house you were looking for um, new work you were looking to connect with new organization in whatever way it is it's going to turn out very very positive for you because what is happening is that you have the ace of sword the ace of sword is a new beginning it's a new beginning of you um, moving away things that no longer serve you and by using the swords the two sides of the swords you are going to be um, opening up positive doors and situations for yourself in your life the swords energies are good in this sense because um, there is going to be a celebration also in the third week whatever that is happening you are having a strong foundation in your life and this strong foundation is going to help you to move um, yourself to something that is much better in your life something that is going to make you at peace great determinations you're going to have in the third week your intuition is still going to be very strong you're going to be very active and you're going to be very triumphant prosperity and deep emotional uh, stability is going to come in your life a new beginning is coming for a lot of you Leo's in the third week um, positive new beginning some people are going to learn that um, their partners or their partners are pregnant this is good whatever the situation that is happening for you guys it's going to be a positive one so whatever is coming up for you guys it's going to be very positive connect with your children in this week because um, it is evident that your children needs to connect with you also okay as we look at the fourth and last week is a positive energies because we have the energies of strength which is good the number eight energy is infinity abundance and we also have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune and this is good because this is going to be a promising month for you Leo's because at the end of the month eight of Pentic the eight shows up for inner strength which is your own energy vibration and it's bringing you the wheel of fortune and it's coming in very fast very fast whenever this comes up it's always a negative cards but with the wheel of fortune it is saying to you that whatever is coming in it's going to be coming in very very fast so it is a positive month is one of the best readings that I have received for you for you Leo's because what is happening here is that there is going to be a transformation as you have temperance and you balance yourself you are going to be victorious in a lot of ways and this victory is going to bring you fortune as I look at uh, um, the other energies that are here is one of positiveness one of uh, love is going to be so vocal in your lives in this month because love comes up strongly with a lot of wonderful um, situation that is happening the art chakra needs to be healed our chakra is going to be healed. there's going to be a lot of uh, emotional event but positive emotional event and connection with your cosmic family um, you're going to have a lot of cosmic connection with people who you felt as if you have known them um, for a lifetime and lifetime love is going to be full um, you are going to feel the energies of love going through your body at this time for a relationship long-lasting relationships for people who are married their, your relationships are going to um, transform to an, a higher energy vibration that you're feeling that this is what you have been working for people who are connected and are not married in this relationship is going to take another step so um, some people will be asked and in marriage whatever your materialistic situation was whatever that was going on in your life whatever you need to accomplish in your life whatever unbalance with your um, house situation work situation this is going to come in balance a lot of people a lot of you need to connect with your children because your children are calling out for a positive connection your children wants to connect with you and this is going to be good 
a swift new beginning is going to come in for a lot of you because the universe is bringing this wonderful positive situation in this month is a month of materialistic gains for you guys and this materialistic gains is going to bring prosperity in your life in all different forms as we look at love the the, the, the the fullness of love is going to come in you are going to find yourself falling in love with um, the things around you you are going to see new possibilities new doors that are going to be open in love relationship because it is the time when you are going to find out that your life is about to change in wonderful wonderful um, ways in and you are going to be looking at ways how you can change certain aspects of of who you are and this is going to work out in your favor so this is you know one of the most beautiful readings that I've had um, for this month of October because uh, October is going to be a strange month for like, a lot of people because what is happening on in October is that um, the, the universal angels are showing that changes are coming in new portals new energy portals are open up and people are beginning to feel the energies come true as we look at the Sun sign of you Leo's um, we are seeing that for the Sun sign the planet of Venus the planet of love is here and this is good whatever is happening it's going to be positive so let's look and see what is it that we have for the sun rising people for the sun rising people sun rising people we have the energy vibration of the planet of Venus love because you have that love energy of a love connection um, the connection of your soulmate your twin flames are coming in the energy of cancers the cancers are coming in to help you and most of you are going to change your career so whatever the situation is most of you are going to have to change your career it's time to change your career love is going to be very positive for you sun rising people and it's going to be healing a lot of situations in your life as we move forward we are looking at the people who were born in night the lunar people and the Pisces come in in this month to help you guys whatever the situation is um, it's gonna be wonderful because whenever the Pisces come in there because you have the king of uh, um, cups which is a Pisces a cancer a scorpion in the third week that is going to help you to open up new possibilities in your life this situation that is happening you have uh, the Aries and you have Mercurius Mercurius I love the planet Mercurius because it is a positive energy especially when it is working with you as a Leo you know so what is happening is that you Leo's are governed or the um, the universal um, um, planetary aspect and um, for you Leo's it is always the sense of the Sun energy because you're governed or the energy of the Sun so with Venus coming in with the Sun people it's going to be positive but for the lunar people it's going to be even more positive because what is going to happen is that you're going to see a sense of transformation coming in your life and this is what we all need to have this transformation as we look at the Sun um, with the planet of Venus it is opening up your eyes to the beauty that is within you life is a work a piece of heart and it is going to be shining for you as we look at the lunar people let's see what is coming in for the lunar people we have Mercurius and Mercurius is a, a strange but yet still a wonderful planet because what it does is that it helps you to manifest magic in your life this is wonderful because um, as we move forward to the end of the year we are going to see your dreams are fulfilled with important message now give as much as uh, attention to your sleep life as your waking life okay so 
the lunar people that is going to be working with Mercurius, you need to listen to your dreams. Your dreams are fulfilling um, important and uh, with important messages. Give as much attention to your sleep time as well as to your waking time and you're going to see that as you come to the end of the year in the month of October that things are going to dramatically change in for you and you're going to be feeling that vibrant energies that is coming in for a lot of you out there so this is going to be profoundly wonderful for you um, Leah's out there the other energies that are coming in and that I'm working with is the angels of abundancy and they have asked me um, to work with them in this week because there are certain messages of abundancy that they want to help people to teach people to start manifesting what they want and you have faced your financial fear so whatever financial fear you will have in this month you need to face it when you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure they can no longer control you be free of hidden fears by exploring them to the light of awareness and you will realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has a struggle with the um, the relative undoubtedness of things so this is a wonderful energy you need to face your fears face your financial fears and once you face your financial fears you're going to see that they're going to automatically gradually disappear from you and this is wonderful I want to say to each and every one please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign it is going to be a month of wonderful transformation it's coming to the end of the year and I want to say please like share these videos thumbs up and remember that only love is real and I'm sending love from my heart to your heart namaste